It was a muddy but marvellous occasion at the Mid Devon show this weekend as thousands braved the downpours in Tiverton. As crowds made their way around the ground avoiding one another's umbrellas, the spirits were not dampened as trade stands provided a place to find out information about local businesses. There was plenty of places to buy a gift or two and there was show-stopping entertainment from some of the most talented local performers and acts in the West Country. I've had a fantastic show. People may remember on Wednesday I said that I want to concentrate on youth. I have a sea cadet, Ellie May, here who's come with me and I've been to the cadets in Tiverton and I've met up with several what I would call charity groups which centre around children because I think it's just so important that we engage with them. It's no good just saying in broad terms, we want to engage, you've got to go out and do it, which is what Ellie May and I have done today, haven't we? Yeah. we we've had really good, good fun. How important is the Mid Devon show for Mid Devon? It's got to be the, the prime show for the area because it's a flag flying show. And as you can see, I've been talking to people from Mid Wales and from South Wales, and of course I'm a Welsh speaker and they, they're not because they're Welsh. <laughs> ironically uh, but it, it draws people from a, a wide range of, uh, of, of expertise of, of things to sell to do and I just think it's a, just a wonderful thing I think St Boniface has let us down today I did have a word and like, you won't believe this but when we left Crediton there was a little bit of drizzle not a lot and we're expecting sunshine this afternoon in Crediton but this is Tiverton so I'm afraid Boniface doesn't go over the hill of course what the region is famous for is its livestock and the show brings people from far and wide to see the very best from the countryside. Presenting the awards this year was president of the show, Rose Channon, one of the founder members of the event, which started way back in the early 90s. I've had a wonderful day, and the difference between show director and being the president is once they take away your means of communication with the rest of the team, like taking away my radio, I have to get into president mode. And that is looking out for my guests, making sure that people are having a nice day, uh, visiting as many areas as I can and just enjoying everybody's uh, presence and what they've got to offer us here at Mid Devon Show. D quite different to being the show director, which I dare say I shall return to uh, tomorrow. <laughs> of course, despite the weather, it still looks like people are having a, a, a pleasant time. Yes, I like the more choice of your words, pleasant, because it's been terribly wet. It was yeah. forecast, wasn't it? This weather was forecast. I see people have come with raincoats, come fairly well prepared for what promised to be a wet day, sadly. But I've seen people making the most of it. Uh, they came prepared, families have been enjoying themselves, they've got involved in the activities that have been on offer, um, gone into all the features that are tented so that they can shelter from the rain a little while. But um, I've just been amazed at the quality of stock that we've had here. Um, the effort that people have made to make this a very special event. Uh, we'll get one more in case anyone... <laughs> what a lovely day for the ducks! And it's also a lovely day for Chat, the show's chosen charity. We were thrilled when Rose contacted us and said that uh, she'd like to choose Chat to be the show's charity, so we're so excited to be here. Yeah, it's great to see everyone here in spite of the weather and we're yeah. really keen to uh, engage with as many people as we can. And when you're engaging with people, what messages are you sending out to the people of Mid Devon today? I think we're here for the people of Mid Devon. We work in Mid Devon only, so we're experts in Mid Devon um, and we're here to help those that are vulnerable and struggling at the moment with housing, debt and money, food um, and all of the things that go with that. And despite the rain, all going well here today? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Great time. <laughs> Loving it. Yeah. Day number 23. Day number and as the show progressed, the rain decided to try and do its best to kill off my camera. So with that in mind, I packed it away, hoping it may come back to life for next year's event. Lewis Clark, Devon Live, in a very soggy Tiverton.